Met Dr. King uh, at the first, when he first got here, the first assembly at Mason Temple. Open the door for him. Uh, and so to hear that, that they would shoot him, uh, it was really the next day walking around the city when I really began some, to get some sense of, because I was I was thinking, oh, people are going to gather up and we're going to march and we're going to do something and, and people were just under the trees, I remember under the trees playing checkers and the old men talking about it, they were saying that they killed our leader, uh, uh, who's going to take his place, but it was no uh, call to action, uh, I, I think that shocked people so much to think that they would blow a man's neck out. Uh, you know, that's, that's pretty gruesome. Who hadn't done anything? Uh, and, and so you could you could feel it. Memphis died, and, and let's be let's be frank. Memphis died April 4, 1968. It never has recovered since that day. And, and, and so I, I began to see subtle changes that became major changes within a year. Bill Street was almost abandoned. Within a year, Main Street began to shut down. That's why we don't have a, a downtown area now. 68, April 4th started that uh, abandonment of the inner city. Uh, it, it frightened people. Uh, and so I think there is a deep hurt and bitterness, collective hurt and bitterness among the people of color, at least some of the people of color, uh, that it was never healed. Part of what we want to do is some soul repair because we know that, that that needs to happen. So how do you feel now, 50, almost 50 years later, and you're here at a press conference talking about basic human rights? How do I feel? Mm -hmm. I'm indignant, I'm uh, enraged, I'm outraged, and I'm very sad. Uh, I'm sad that our administration doesn't have the foresight to see even what this is means. There's some doggone reverse march that, that they're trying to sponsor. I don't, I, I, it's it's a, almost a callous arrogance uh, that, that the administration has toward its people. It's like they never understand. They don't get it. And so, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm bitter, quite frankly. I'm, I'm bitter. So you're saying you're upset that they want to commemorate something, but they don't want to actually stand for what that stood for. Absolutely. It, it is uh, hypocritical uh, to, to, do, to do it like this, to, to try to enact these laws, right, under the cover of a, of a march. I mean, not a march, a race. Uh, to try, and then under that, you wait until the, the longest holiday of the year so far, you, 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 you announce it, so it goes under the radar, and then after we dig in and we find this is, this is murder to the Constitution. And so the fact that you would put that sign up, and at the same time, simultaneously, uh, at least give uh, weight to this uh, uh, proposed ordinance, because the mayor is aware, we know that, we, are, we know he was aware. And, and so to do that, it, it speaks of, uh, it reminds me of Henry Loeb in a sense. It's like Henry Loeb and Donald, Donald Trump all mixed up together uh, that has lost his way. Uh, man, you're in a city with 65% of, of, of the population of people of color, and you are this colorblind? To, to, don't, don't understand the insult that this says to us? No, I think he needs to fire his staff also for, for suggesting something as silly as this. Uh, the whole thing, I, I think it's a mockery to truth. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Uh,